Hello and welcome to this video introducing Panel Builder 600 Basic, PB610-B. This software is used to design control panel applications that run on CP600 Eco Panels. In this video, we would like to show you briefly, how to create a project in Panel Builder Basic Engineering software. In this example, the Panel Builder 600 Basic has already been installed in standalone option in this computer, and as a result a shortcut is seen on the desktop. Another option, is to use it through the Automation Builder Suite, in which it is also included. After launching the software, the first step is to create a new project, using the new project icon. One could also use the menu toolbar options to create a project quite easily. Specify a project name and a location where this project will be saved in this computer. Then next, select in the list of panel of your choice, here CP607, corresponding to 7 inch wide screen. The device orientation can be also changed, by default, normal mode is selected and will be in landscape mode. According to your selection, the size of the pages of the project will be automatically adjusted to the panel size. We are now ready to use the software. The white page displayed corresponds to your working area. And on the left side, you can discover all the elements of your project in project view. We will now select a protocol. This is the first step before creating anything else. Double click on it to open the window parameters. Click plus to access to the selection of all device drivers available with CP600 Eco panels. For this example, we will select variables to be able to work with internal tags. The second step is the definition of tags. The software uses them to access all device data. The tag editor can be used to create and manage all tags of your project. To add a new tag, click on the plus icon, and specify all properties, like driver, address, comment, read-write option and so on. Repeat this operation, for creating all of your tags. Additionally, for an easy and fast creation, import tags option could be used according to device drivers selected. Now, we could start the creation of the design of your application, with the help of Widget Gallery, where you can find a collection of predefined graphic objects, called widgets. All widgets have properties that can be changed or configured. We are going to use some basic widgets to demonstrate and simulate an HMI application. For instance, we can start by choosing a button in the list of widgets, then by the drag and drop action, you position it on the page editor. As soon as the widget is on the page, the object properties appear on the right side and they are accessible for configuration. The default properties could be changed or used like they are. To change a property value dynamically, you can attach them to tags or variables, just by clicking plus on the property line, and using the action attached to. Then when the tags editor is opened, select the tag wish to animate your widget, and if necessary adapt its configuration especially pay particular attention to read-write option associated to your tag. Repeat the process of adding for another widgets, chosen in the widget gallery. Like a light widget to display the status of previous tag selected and attached to the button. A label to write a static text. A meters to have a dynamic view of analog tag. Select and attach to the tag 3 for instance, previously created in your tag editor. The same tag could be used several times on several different widgets. Example, use a numeric field to display its value, according to read-write option selected, it will be also possible to change dynamically its value on runtime. A slider will be used to manipulate and change the value of this tag.
or use just a bare graph to display a graphic view of its value, and so on. An HMI simulator tool allows you to test and debug your application, before downloading your application to the CP600 Eco panel, or if you don't have panel available. Click on Start Simulator icon or use Run menu to activate simulation. Simulation runs on the computer in the same way as the server would run on the CP600 Eco panel. Use your mouse to simulate actions on the screen and verify the functioning of your application. After your tests, click on Stop Simulator icon or use the Exit button of the page to go back to your working area editor. This concludes the presentation of a simple project with Panel Builder 600 Basic, and any future modification or improvement to the project is possible. For further information and support, please be in touch with the contact details provided on the screen. Thank you for watching this video.